now seeing me. Um, this is a a a 3.5 inch hard drive. As you can see, the circuit boards and inside here uh, it has a platter and a uh, let's see and a. It has a disc platter, a head on, head on, and a read and write pad. If you purchase one of the, uh, these, uh, it will require more pads because the, the size of the hard drive is completely so big. And we ha and any of you wondering what brand of hard drive this is, this is a 1.5 Seagate hard drive right here. It's from product of China and it's like keep breaking down because um, China, uh, Chinese don't make, uh, Chinese make a lot of hard drives but not as long lasting as other countries have this. One from, uh, I think from Thailand or Malaysia, which lasts for a long time. Let's see what this is made out of. Made in. Well, didn't say, but as you can see, wow, this is a, uh, how big is this drive? It's a 3 terabyte hard drive. If you notice, can see the uh, that's a fifteen pin, uh, fifteen pin and eight pin SATA uh, connector, so it, so you can plug it to your computer, so. And, and people are wondering, do I need to buy uh, cables for uh, a solid state drive? Well, no, because they use the same jack. And here is a solid state, a state drive. As you notice, it's, it's, it's much more lighter and smaller and more compact. And it's slightly like the size of your hand, and it uses the same plugs, a 15 pin and a 7 pin. You notice the the the, the jacks it uses the same size, and this one's really light, fits on your hand perfectly. And this one is really heavy. It's like 1.6 pounds. The other one I was saying about. 12 ounces so and if you plan to install this on your desktop um, put a, you have to purchase a rack because this is way too small to put it into the that rack on your computer because if you put it in the rack right away it'll just drop off so put a rack you do a Amazon or eBay search, type in uh, 2.5 to 3.5 inch uh, whack or convert it or sh show up and purchase that whack of like eight, 8 to 10 bucks. And this is, any of those who want to know what brand of hard drive is, is this is an A Data, it's a Taiwanese. Uh, hard drive that runs really smooth and the, oh the wheat and white speed for this it it really depends on what type of file or video and how long how big the capacity is and um this uh, 
a solid slate drive is it transfers really fast within probably like one to two minutes depend of uh, uh, on a uh, was while a video and this one transfers probably about uh, eight ten minutes or so because it the platter of the disc it needs to yeah it has to work through the throughout of it and the head on and the, and the platter has to work it as for this one it doesn't use a platter or microchips or or the white hat or the wheat and white hat it just it just transfers right away kind of like a flash drive or external hard drive um, those of you who are wondering Those of you who are wondering, um, I've been using this computer for about what, six, seven years, and and some of you wondering about one of you commented underneath uh, last week's discussion about video graphics or graphics card. Um, um, this computer, the, the video graphics have been burnt, uh, have been burned out, it, meaning that it doesn't display on the screen. So I have to, uh, let me see, that's the graphics card, oh here we go. This is the one right here, the, the blue and white parts right here. It, those two completely not working, so I purchased a graphics card. Up here. Let me see. Up, oh, that's the VGA. As you notice, there's a hole on the left side of the Jack Mini. I screwed it in way too tight, and it caught the jack of the VGA. So I learned my lesson to be careful next time when I screw in. Uh, video cable um, the monitor uh, into the graphics card and that's an HDMI you can plug into your TV or monitor if your monitor has an HDMI cable and uh, next to it is the VBI cable right next to it I'll plug the HDMI seat to show you what look see that's the DVI right there. It's the DVI right there on the graphics card. So I have to plug the the HDMI cable because my monitor has an HDMI cable which is I'm using it now. But for the DVI, um, the cable is really short, it's like 4 or 6 feet, so it couldn't reach, so I have to use a HDMI cable, and I lost that cable somewhere, and I'm gonna find it, and I'll get back to you.